Novak Djokovic versus Yannick Sinner is the first semi-final for the Men's Australian Open for 2024. And both have had different roads to get to this stage. Sinner entered the tournament as a number four seed and will take on Van der Zandschub in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, he take on De Jong, the qualifier. And again, no problem for Rublev getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he take on the 26th seed, Baez. And this is by far Sinner's best performance getting through in straights. 6-love, six 6-1, six 6-3. Six in the fourth round, he take on the number 15 seed, Hashinov, who had a lot of experience in Grand Slam matches, but Sinner was way too good getting through in straights. 6-4, 7-5, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Rublev, the fifth seed, who had had to battle through Diminor to get to this stage. And after taking the first set in a very close second, Sinner would again win in straights. 6-4, 7-6, 6-3 to advance to the semifinals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed and would take on the qualifier, Prismich, in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would take it out in four, 6-2, 6-7, 6-3, 6-4. In the second round, he'd take on Alexi Proprin. And after losing the second set and saving set points in the third, he would eventually get through in a tight four sets. 6-3, 4-6, 7-6, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 30th seed, Echeverry, who had taken out Monfils and Murray along the way. There's no problem for Djokovic getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3, 7-6. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 20th seed, Manorino, who had come off three five-setters to make it this far. And it showed with Djokovic demolishing Manorino. 6-love, six 6-love, six 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Djokovic would take on the number 12 seed, Fritz, who had beaten Sidzi Pass in the previous round. And after splitting the first two sets, Djokovic would run away with it. 7-6, 4-6, 6-2, 6-3 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played six times to four, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 4-2. However, Sinner has won two of their last three meetings, with the last meeting being the Davis Cup Finals, where he saved match points to beat Djokovic and take Italy to victory. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to use that forehand to great effect. And he also needs to get off to a good start, you feel, because we know Djokovic which if he does get the first set, and as we've seen this week, he does sometimes drop the second, but he then runs away with the third and the fourth. So Sinner really needs to get off to a good start, possibly a two sets to love lead. I mean, it's Novak Djokovic to the Australian Open. He's going to have to do something special if he's going to get a win. Djokovic's going to win this one. He also probably needs to get off to a good start. Sinner hasn't lost a set all week, and you wonder whether or not if Sinner does lose a set, if that might actually hurt his mental. He also needs to make Sinner move because Sinner did have some troubles physically in the Rublev match in the middle of the match there. So try and test out if there is any injury worries for Sinner. What a highly anticipated matchup. It's a match that we wanted when the draw came out. We wanted to see these guys play five sets. They did play at Wimbledon last year. It was kind of a flop. I think Djokovic's going to get this one, though, because it, he is the king of Australia. He is the king of the Australian Open. I reckon he's going to be five sets. Nolay gets a win, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.